Hey guys, and welcome back. Today's episode is Everything Happens for a Reason. I'm gonna be talking about the universe, we're talking about our relationship with it, a manifestation, and all that, you know, uh, woo woo. Um, you know, you know uh, what is it like, uh, all that woo woo stuff or whatever, all that astrological matrix shit or whatever. But I mean, basically it's not, you know, that spiritual or that um, kind of like out there, if you really understand it. But to, again, today we're going to be talking about everything happens for a reason. So, I don't know if you realize, I'm wearing the same shirt as probably the last episode or a previous episode. And, um... So, everything everything happens for a reason. And if you remember la the, the episode where I was wearing this shirt the last time, look, look, look how awesome how the bus just stops in the middle of the street. He doesn't even bother, he doesn't even bother to pull over. Look at that, another punch buggy. BW bug, look at that. Badass, man. So, the whole concept of everything happens for a reason. I'm sure you've heard that a million times over. A lot of times when you hear it, most most people don't want to hear that. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to hear that now. I just don't want X, Y, Z situation to be happening to me. Um, what do you mean everything happens for a reason? This shit sucks. You know, blah, 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 blah. You know, that whole ordeal. All right, how are we going to get through here? So... For example, so today, I mean, you know, yeah, well, actually today, you know, earlier today, I went out with my camera, um, and I was going to go to the Whole Foods store, as you guys saw from the previous episode, um, and long story short, you know, by the time I was leaving the store, actually, went, while I was in the store, in order to give the, the guy that I just met my business card, I realized I didn't have my wallet, and, um... I wasn't in too much panic because immediately after I realized I didn't have my wallet, I also kind of went through the steps in my head and I'm like, ah, fuck, I know where I left it. I left it like on the, right by my computer, which sure enough, by the time I got home, it was there. But then it just got me to, re you know, to start thinking as to, well, why did the universe <clears throat> literally pull me from what I was doing today and drag me all the way over there and put me there in front of that guy so that I can have like an hour and a half conversation with him and eventually his wife when she showed up. Um, so why did that happen? You know, it's like, why, why was that happening? Well, you know, I could sit here and contemplate that all day long, or I could just really, you know, look at the bigger picture in the sense of like, uh, well, they, I, I was put here for a reason. I was put here in front of these people for a reason. I was brought to this store for a reason. I may not understand it right now. I may not understand it in who knows when. But the point is that for whatever reason, I needed to meet that guy. For whatever reason, that guy needed to meet me and vice versa. And we needed to make contact and, and talk and so on and so forth. So. Even though after talking to him, he gave me uh, information on, you know, on where I can get shoes and this and that, you know, just like I did with the dentist, you know, after kind of like looking at where these stores are, it was going to cost me more money to get over. It's going to cost me money to get over there. And then that just cost me money to get over there. But also on top of that, um, you know, the fact that that area in specific is uh, pretty expensive. So there's that. So I was just thinking to myself, you know what, let me just go to where I was going to go originally and uh, see what I can do there. Um, because I already know that the prices where I'm going at now is pretty reasonable. This is a very touristy area, meaning that there's a bunch of gringos like me walking around um, with big feet. So there's a market for it. So it's like, you know what, why not? You know, let me just go over there. I have a lot of walking this week, especially this weekend. Got a lot of things I'm going to be doing. So it's like, let me just bite the bullet and get these shoes already because my feet and my knees are killing me. But anyways, 
let's go back to like uh, enough about me <laughs> let's go back to the universe and why we got to trust the universe and believe in the universe and believe in, in all this stuff and, and not just believe in it but then you know what are we going to do with this knowledge you know like what are we going to do with the knowledge that sure we believe in this stuff well and we might know how it works but now the main question really is how can i get it to work for me how can we get this thing to work for me yeah maybe i can cross now all right hold on all right good timing So, I mean, look, right now I'm, I'm pretty tired already. I've done a lot of walking, done a lot of exercise out in the sun. But it's like, you know, I can go home. I can go home and just, uh, you know, get back to work. Or I can go out and uh, push it to the limit, you know. Uh, this is where I got to put the Scarface song when they're doing all that cocaine. You got to push it to the limit. Great fucking song. But, I mean, honestly, I can't really work on my computer right now. It's just so fucking hot, you know? So, it's like, you know what? Let me just, again, take full advantage of my situation right now. So, what did I decide to do? Is like, well, I decided to grab this camera, as always, and just start talking about the universe. And why sometimes we just got to go with the flow. And uh, for me in particular, you know, I, I'm a bit of a control freak. I've always been a control freak. You know, I've mentioned it to you guys plenty of times and uh, you know right now where I'm at is like uh, I've been able to learn how to let go what's going on here so yeah this is like a store where they sell all kinds of shit I guess they're getting in new stuff oh look at that cool bike I gotta get one of those it's like a fucking like a low rider so Again, you know, it's all about going with the flow. The only way you can really go with the flow, the best way you can go with the flow, is by learning how to let go. And uh, that's why it's been easier for me to, um, you know, to let go with the flow. Because I've been learning to let go. It's simple. Real simple. And um, a lot of that entails, you know, just not just following your gut. But constantly going into the unknown and not and and not expecting anything, not expecting anything in return. Not I mean what I mean by that is like not expecting um not expecting anything, period. Not expecting anything. And uh it, it's it's all about notice that like a lot of my videos, you know, as I'm talking about, you know, these motivational things. Or talking about you know just life things or manifesting things or the universe or the matrix or any of this shit you know it, it, a lot of it has to do with letting go letting go and then regaining control and again it's like but it's like you know a lot of people are like oh you're going in circles but you say to uh, let go of control and to be you know all this shit but it's like no man like this, it's like knowing exactly what you can control like again you can't control absolutely fucking anything out here. There's nothing you can control at all. At all. But you can control yourself. You can control your actions. You can control so many more other things. Um, once you learn, not just how to control it, but master it, how to control yourself, how to control all these other things that you can control, then you can control everything else and manipulate everything else, a la the matrix. As to where you know you'd be dodging bullets flying around doing all kinds of shit being able to manipulate the space around you being able to manifest things being able to you know create things out of fucking nothing all that shit and uh, the only way that any of that stuff can be done is by trusting your gut and going with the flow i mean for real it's this simple it's, it's it's pretty simple it really is it's um just learning how to refocus all that energy into the right, you know, proper channels, into the right, right proper way. And, um, and it takes a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of learning. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of edu, edumacation. 
um, but it, it can be done. It, I mean, definitely, is, it can be done by a lot of people. Some people, you know, they're already born with this and they, they already know how to do it and they do it all the time. Um, other people, they got to learn how to control um, the things that they can control and let go of the things that they cannot control. And, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff has to do with how we are taught on a daily basis, you know, like uh, how we are taught by society, how we are taught how to, you know, everything that we're taught. That's the, that's the thing. That's like the hardest part of a lot of this stuff is that we have all been taught one way and we all have to unlearn that stuff and reteach ourselves the proper way. And a lot of people just don't want to do that work. A lot of you guys already are doing that work. And uh, it's a process. Everybody goes at a different speed. Everybody attains information very differently. But the end, again, you know. But you know, to summarize uh, the whole thing of uh, the universe and controlling it. You know, I forgot. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I already forgot. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna say I forgot what, I, what this video was about. But this video, again, um, it, it's about. Um, I've talked about this many, many times before as to like, again, it's all about, um, yeah, I, I'm literally lost for a train of thought. I had it in my brain again and I fucking lost it again. But like, yeah, everything happens for a reason. And um, so a lot of times when you're manifesting things or you're on your path or you're going through whatever it is you're going through, it's all part of that. You know, it really is all part of the, the whole, the whole, um, the whole game, I guess, you know, life is a game. It really is. And it's like, how do you want to play this game? If, uh, if life is already a game and you know the rules to the game or you're learning the rules to the game and you're realizing a lot of people don't know the rules to the game and um, all of a sudden now, instead of losing at this game, you're winning at this game, you know, it starts becoming very addicting. And a lot of people that are constantly losing at this game of life it kind of, you know, becomes uh, becomes kind of shitty, you know. These other people have really shitty lives because they continue losing at the game and they don't know why they're losing at the game instead of sitting back and learning as to why they're losing and then learning how to win the game and then start practicing and putting those things into practice. So, again, everything happens for a reason. Every single thing that happened today happened for a freaking reason, you know. Everything from this weird want and desire to to go to that particular store, going to that particular store, going in with my camera, that individual sparking up a conversation about, um, hey, are you a vlogger? Are you a video creator? You know, all that shit. Um, sparking up interest in, in what he had to say and what I had to say, um, had making a contact, making a new friend. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. Camera turned off because it was overheating. And uh, it's because I've been using it all day out here in the hot sun. I honestly don't know where the hell I left off. And um, I think, again, just to stay on topic here about everything happening for a reason. Well, even that happened for a reason. You know, maybe it was telling me that I was overheating as well. Not just the camera, so I needed to take a little break and sit on a bench. Which I did. I was feeling fine. But I am tired. My knees are fucking killing me. So, again, it was another sign as to... Yes, I'm glad I came out here to see if I can find some shoes and so on and so forth. So, again, it's all about not just recognizing these signs that are all around you, but actually um, going through on them and not just letting these signs go by. You know, it could be anything from a business deal that, you know, you don't pull the trigger on because you're scared for whatever reason, or, you know, maybe a girl that you want to ask out or a guy that you want to ask out, whatever, and you don't because you're scared of the repercussions and uh you know we can go on all day about these things you know we all these opportunities are all around us all this luck is all around us you know like uh, let me give you a gary Vism. you know you can get that luck shit and put it in your, your pocket you know you can get that luck shit and shove it up your fucking ass and what do i mean by that and what does he mean by that really you know the whole thing about luck the whole thing about luck really kind of boils down to the fact that you know, um, you know, being at the right place at the right time. But how can you be at the right place at the right time if you yourself don't put yourself there? You know, in order to, to be in the right place at the right time, 
it, it, it took a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of steps that took place in order for you to get to that spot. And then once you get to that spot and these opportunities, these amazing opportunities are in front of you, well, what are you gonna do with these opportunities? Are you gonna just sit there idly and not pursue them? Or you're gonna actually pursue them and uh, continue on with your journey and continue growing and getting bigger and awesomer and, um, and, and so on and so forth and living that dream. So again, everything does happen for a reason, no matter how you look at it. And it uh, really all just stems down to you. You're the only um, variable within this equation. This equation is happening all, all over the place, all over the world to millions of people, billions of people all over the place. And literally every single human is going through this experience. But what are you doing? You're the only variable within your world. So what are you doing in order to make your world better? In order to make your universe what you want? In order to have your li the life that you want and desire? Whatever it might be. I mean, your life, you know, could, your dream could just literally be to wake up and bake bread every fucking day. Or to do what I'm fucking doing. Or whatever the fuck. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. You know, but the thing is that we all know the steps we need to take in order to do it. And even if we don't know the steps, that's the first step is figuring out what those steps are and start taking them. So, again, even if you don't know, that's not an excuse. Everything else is just, just an excuse. So just get out there and start doing these things. All right, guys. Actually, I, I forget the stores this way. So let me just start walking here while I finish this up. I just want to give a big shout out and a big thanks to all of you guys for always being here. Um, you guys are the best. I mean, for reals, I love you guys. I love making these videos for you guys. I love being here for you guys. And uh, I, I'm just, I mean... I feel so lucky that I get to do this, but just with what I was just saying is like, yeah, but I created this all for myself, you know? I put myself in this position and I'm constantly putting myself in this position. I can end it all right now by not doing any more videos or I can continue living the dream by continuing to do me and live my life and pursue my happiness and so on and so forth. So, all right guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Fucking love you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Don't forget. Just don't forget. But mainly don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to live life. And don't forget to stay fucking awesome. Okay? Thanks again for watching. And uh, see you guys manana. Or in the next one. Which is probably manana. Or it could be a few seconds from now. I have a lot of videos. Later. <laughs>